everyone, it's Sarah and welcome to my crochet channel. Today's video I'm going to show you how to crochet this simple convertible scarf crochet pattern. You can wear it on your head, you can wear it around your neck. It's convertible but also I called it the convertible scarf because I love to wear it when my husband and I go for a ride in our crossfire convertible and we love going up in the mountains but I don't love my hair flying around all over the place and so I can tie it back in this scarf and wear it on my head and then when we get out I can just pull it down around my neck just make sure my shirt matches the color that I chose now this is a free crochet pattern on my blog and you can find that blog link down in the notes underneath this video what you're going to need to make this convertible scarf is about two ounces of a number three light yarn. I designed this one using the Mandela yarn in Sparkle. Isn't that pretty? The name of this color is called Draco. Number three. Now you can use any number three that you want to. It works up really fast and it only takes about two ounces or more if you want to make it longer. We're going to be stitching today with our H hook and I'm using an H even though this is a number three because I want the stitches to work up just a little bit loose and lacy. So we're using the H which is a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. And besides that you need a needle for weaving in ends and your scissors. That's it. The scarf measures approximately four inches wide and approximately from tip to tip 75 inches long. And that's um, the size that I like best. If you like them a little bit longer or a little bit shorter, you can adjust that yourself. Now, the way the rows work is you have these open rows and three of these rows equal about two inches. All right, and that will give you an idea of how to make it longer. We're going to begin with our slip knot and then we're going to chain five chains. This chain five counts as a double crochet chain two we're going to place a double crochet in the fifth chain one two three four five so we'll yarn over go in this fifth chain pull up a loop yarn over go through the first two yarn over and go through the second two loops now we're going to chain two and stitch another double crochet in this same chain And this gives us three double crochet, chain two, double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. Now we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. This chain five counts as a double crochet, chain two. We're going to turn and double crochet in that same stitch. We're going to chain two, then we'll double crochet in the next double crochet. We'll chain two, double crochet in the top of the chain three, leaving those two double or those two chains unworked. And chain five. And this is how it should look at this point. All right, let's turn. We're going to again double crochet in this same stitch as that chain five. We're going to chain two. Double crochet in the double crochet. Chain two double crochet in the double crochet 
chain two and double crochet in the third chain because remember we chained five so we'll leave those two and one double crochet and chain three now you can see we began with three double crochets with a chain two in between then row two we had four double crochets with the chain two in between now for row three we have one two three four five double crochets with a chain two in between we chained three we need to chain two more so we have a chain five and turn and then we'll just repeat we'll put a double crochet in the same stitch as that chain five we'll chain two one double crochet in the top of the double crochet chain two double crochet in the top of the double crochet chain two one double crochet in the top of the double crochet chain two and one double crochet in that third double or third chain sorry not double crochet and now this is how row four should look we have one two three four five six double crochets with our chain two in between now we form the point at the end of our scarf and we're not going to increase anymore we're going to keep it at these one two three four five six double crochets so we'll chain two three four five and then we'll place a double crochet in the next double crochet because that chain five counts as our first double crochet chain two and since we're not increasing anymore we'll go to our next double crochet chain two double crochet in the next chain two double crochet in the next double crochet chain two double crochet in the next double crochet chain two and then double crochet in that third chain leaving those two chains as the chain two and then chain five one two three four five okay and so this is the way that it should look at row five we're going to no longer increase we're going to keep it at one two three four five six double crochets with chain two in between and so then what we'll do is we'll just continue to repeat what we did on row five for up through row 72 or as long as you want to make your scarf so we chained five we're going to double crochet in the next double crochet chain two double crochet in the next double crochet chain two double crochet in the next double crochet chain two double crochet in the next double crochet chain two and then we'll double crochet in the third chain of that chain five and then we'll chain five one two three four and five and see now we're just making it longer we're not increasing anymore this is just the point at the bottom to give it a cute little point at the end and so what we'll do is we'll continue to repeat row five chain five double crochet chain two double crochet chain two double crochet chain two double crochet chain two double crochet so we have six double crochets with chain two in between and we'll repeat that up through row 
72. And then I'll show you how to do the other point at the other end because we're going to be decreasing instead of increasing. So once your scarf is as long as you would like it, and of course, if you're doing the size that I'm doing, you're gonna get about a 48 inch to 50 inch scarf if you do up through row 72. And so now we're going to do the decrease down to the point. So instead of chaining five, we're only going to chain three. And then we're going to turn. We'll double crochet in the next double crochet. And then we'll repeat what we've been doing. Chain two and double crochet. Chain two, double crochet, across. And now we'll chain three again instead of chaining five. And we'll turn our work again. All right, now, one, two, three, four, five, six still, but we're going to consider this a decrease. And we won't be stitching in that stitch on this row. And that's the same thing that will happen over here. So we'll go ahead and stitch a double crochet in the next double crochet and then we'll chain two and only double crochet in the next three. One, here's two, chain two, and then double crochet in this next one. All right, so what we did is we decreased one here and then we decreased one here. And so now we have just these four and this row we had five because we are not counting that one. All right, and so we'll repeat that again. One, two, three, turn your work, and we'll double crochet in the next three with those chain two in between. Double crochet, chain two, double crochet, chain two, and double crochet, chain two. All right, let me pull this down so you can see. And again, we decreased here and we decreased here. All right, so now we're going to chain three, two, three, and turn our work for the last time. On this last row, we won't be stitching on this end one. We'll only be stitching in these two, but we won't put any chain twos in between. So we have a chain three, and we'll stitch a double crochet in that next double crochet. Oops, there we go. And then we will not chain two. We'll go right to this next double crochet and double crochet. And that's how we decreased down. All right, just like that. We'll cut our yarn and we'll tie off. Let's see, grab that needle and weave that in. And that's how you finish off the bottom of the scarf. Now, I know you're thinking, oh, it's not a perfect point, but actually it lays really pretty. After you tie that off, you can see it does lay really nice. And here's our other end. And we can weave that off as well, or weave that in, not off. <laughs> All righty. Both ends weaved in. So here is the Mandela scarf that I was wearing earlier with all the color changes turns out just lovely and you can see the two ends 
and it's okay that it's not perfect because you're going to be tying this it's going to be blowing in the wind and or wearing it around your neck and it's just going to look just lovely it's open weave so it's nice and cool and it adds a beautiful touch to just about any outfit even on a windy day <music> 